So our first song this morning is I Love You, Lord. Here you And the next one is The Wise Man Built His House Upon the Rock. Isn't there a action? Uh, can I do them? Yeah, I can do the slides. going to ask you to gather around, to stay standing around the table here because I have some surprises on the table for you. Okay, so, well, I don't know if you can see too well if you sit down because I'm going to show you what's on this table. Yeah, you, if you want to, you can stand up or sit that way, yes. <laughs> you, you're anxious to see it? I think everyone wonders what's under here today. Okay, I'll uncover the first one. This is number one. I have three surprises. This is number one. It's a painting of autumn. Very good. Now, in the story that I read this morning from the Bible, the blind man, Bartimaeus, we can call him Bart, Bart couldn't see. And what happened? What did Jesus do? Do you know what Jesus did? He sacrificed himself. No. 
Well, yes, he did. But in the story, it was a blind man. And what did Jesus do? Do you know? Uh, oh, maybe he didn't hear it. He made him able to see. That's right. He made him able to see. So we're, we're lucky. We can see, can't we? So, oh, it's coming. Okay, what do you see in this picture? You can tell me. What do you see? Wood, birch wood. Yes, trees, some bark on the trees. What do you see? I see lots of birch and lots of trees that are beautiful. Beautiful trees, yes. What do you see? Different colored leaves. Different colored leaves. What color leaves are there? What colors? What colors do you see? Orange. Orange, green. A little yellow in there, yes. A beautiful fall picture because this is the season of autumn, isn't it? It's fall. Okay, number two. Oh, yes, there's water there too. Number two. I'll lean behind there. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. <laughs> what do you see in this picture? Uh, oh, and look, something. I see real bats. Oh, when real I bats. And I see trick or treat. Trick or treat. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I see a spider and spider webs. Spider and spider webs. What do you think this is? Uh, light. Light, yes. And that looks like a haunted house. That does. And it's the same colors. You notice the oranges and the yellows because it's Halloween is this time of the year, the end of the year. Yes. I can see half of Oh, what is that? Number three. Oh, you're right. You're right. Number three. It is a jack o' lantern. I made one yesterday. Did you? Well, you know, that's another thing we have in the. It does, and I'm going to turn it on in a minute. But I have a little story about this jack o' lantern because these are all things that happen in the fall. This week is Halloween, right? Yes. Three days is Halloween. Yes. And do you know that? Do you know that um, Halloween began in the church? I know it's strange, isn't it? Almost all our holidays begin in the church. Because it's the evening before All Saints Day, which is on the Thursday. So this Wednesday is the 31st, Halloween. The next day is All Saints Day. And it was a common practice in the church to have a dinner before a special occasion. So it was the evening, the Eve, just to be like we have Christmas Eve before Christmas. It was All Hallows Eve before All Saints Day. And they decided to come dressed up as their favorite saints, you know, famous people in the church who are faithful to God. Then as time went by, they decided they would dress up like their favorite Bible character and come to dinner. I don't know where they see the light. I know. <laughs> and then time went by, and they dropped the word all off, and they called it Hallow's Eve. And I remember when Halloween still had the apostrophe in it because it was Hallow's Eve, Halloween. So it all began in the church. So when you dress up as your favorite character or whatever imagine comes to your mind, then... Remember to give God thanks because it started in the church. So I have a little story for you about Sarah and Jacob. Oh, I know you're anxious for me to do this, but just wait till we, for the story. Sarah and Jacob stood by the window watching. They could hardly wait for Daddy to get home from work. Today was the day he had promised to help them make a jack-o'-lantern. At 5.30 on the dot, Daddy's car pulled into the driveway. Are you guys ready to go pick out your pumpkin? He called. Hooray, yelled Jacob. Yes, let's go, cried Sarah, running out to the car. In a few minutes, they arrived at the biggest pumpkin patch the children had ever seen. There were hundreds and hundreds of pumpkins. Big ones, small ones, round ones, long ones, yellow ones, and orange ones, and green ones. Sarah and Jacob walked up and down every row, searching for just the right pumpkin for their jack-o'-lantern. There, look at that one. Sarah pointed. It was the roundest, largest, brightest orange pumpkin in the patch. Jacob could hardly get his arms around it. I think you found the perfect pumpkin, Daddy said. They carried it back to the car, and when they got home, Daddy placed a pumpkin on the kitchen table. As he began to carve the jack-o'-lantern, he said, Do you know that being a Christian is a lot like being a pumpkin? It is, asked Sarah. Jacob looked puzzled. What do you mean? Well, said Daddy, first God picks each one of us out of the patch. He chooses us to be his very own. Next, he cleans out from us the inside out. He scoops up all the yucky stuff out of our hearts, the sin, the bad things we do or say. And after that, he puts a great smile on, his, on our face. His light shines through our hearts. Ah. Oh. Then everyone can see his love in us. Oh, Sarah thought about it for a moment. Daddy, I want God's light to shine in my heart. Me too, said Jacob. I'm glad. 
You know, the Bible says that our sin separates us from God. It keeps his light from shining in us. So God sent Jesus to take our sin away. Three days later, he rose to life again, and now he lives in heaven. If we ask him, he'll come into our hearts and live in our hearts, and his light will shine in us. No. But I have something in here. Oh, I know. Oh, you found my secret. Okay. Look what I brought for you today. A mini pumpkin. A mini pumpkin. And it even lights up. And what does it say on it? Shine for Jesus. So after we do the offering, I'm going to put them on the table or on the front pew there. And you take one home, take one downstairs. And when you light it, I want you to remember that God loves you. And because of Jesus, you can shine for Jesus. So when, and, and when you like your jack-o'-lanterns and go out for Halloween, remember to be kind and shine for Jesus and have fun. I like <laughs> Do you? Okay. Well, I'll give you, I'll, you can have one right after offering, okay? All right. So today we come with thankful hearts to praise God. We come with happy hearts to praise and sing our praises. We come with grateful hearts to offer our gifts. So your morning donations will now be received. <laughs>